Hey folks, Matt from rightoftheimage.com. I've got a question here from Shunak. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, the heading is wide angle lens, Nikon AFP DX 10 to 20 F4 to 5 to 5.6 GVR. So that's, that's the new Nikon, uh, that sweet little DX 10 to 20 ultra wide angle. He says, hi, Matt. I'm a regular viewer of your channel. I really like the way you review, keeping in mind the perspective of the buyer and not just a professional opinion. We all cannot afford top-end bodies and lenses. I want to know whether the stated lens is a value for the money and worth buying. I am providing a few details to make you understand where I stand. The camera is a Nikon D5500. The lenses he has currently is an 18-55 AFP DX kit lens, a 70-300 AFP DX lens, and a 35mm AFS DX lens. So he has a nice assortment of lenses. That's, that's, that's a good kit to go so far. Current requirements, landscape, and architecture. Wide-angle lens was never a priority requirement for me until I recently uh, went for a trip where I seriously missed one ultra-wide. I uh, actually had to shoot with a Samsung S9 Plus. Considering a mobile device, the images were great. He's got that in brackets, by the way. It is not a professional requirement, but I just want to have a wide-angle lens in the bag just in case. Any other alternatives are also welcome, keeping the price point as a reference. Thanks a lot in advance. Best regards, Dr. Shunak. Well, thank you very much for your question. Good question. I think a lot of people are probably curious about this lens. I think it is a great. I, I don't think you can beat it. I don't think there's anything comparable for the price that that uh, the new Nikon is. That's exactly what Nikon targeted it at, and it does the job. It's a good performer. It's small. It's lightweight. Goes excellent fit with your D5500. Um, and for the price, you can't beat it. You want to get into something a little pricier? I would probably look at the Sigma 8 to 16. It's probably my all-time favorite DX ultra wide, but it is more money. Probably twice the amount of money. Um, you'd be amazed how much wider 2 mils is, the 8 to 10. But that 10 to 20 is a very nice lens. It's a very good price point, And I wouldn't have any problem with you getting it. I think, yes, it's a good uh, value for the money and worth buying. Let me throw it back to you guys. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? AFP DX 10 to 20 from Nikon. Good lens. Do you have it? Do you have some samples to show? Do you like it? Is there something else you would recommend in the same price point? Let us know in the comments below. Always great to hear back from you guys, your opinions, when our viewers are trying to decide what to do, like Dr. Shunak is here. Thanks for your question again, and stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.